Hey guys, this is Alex with Vital Productions, and this is my tutorial on how to make a professional YouTube background. So first, you're going to want to start off by making a new um, project, and you're going to want to have the dimensions uh, about 1,000 by 1,000. Okay, and then next you're going to want to select your two colors and make a gradient. For this video, I'm going to do green and black. And then you're going to want to select your gradient tool. And you're going to want to do a straight line down the middle. Uh, you can make a straight line by holding shift. And that will create your gradient. Then you're going to want to go to filter, distort, and then down to wave. And then you're going to want to make sure that the type is set as square and hit OK. Then you're going to want to go back to filter, back to distort, but this time select polar coordinates. Then just hit OK. Then you'll get this type thing. Then you're going to want to select the move tool and drag it on to your template. Uh, since it's the background, you're going to want to drag it to the back, and you're going to want to adjust it so that it uh, pretty much just fills the page or to what you think looks right. Okay, so, well, this looks about good. And then next you're going to want to select your paint, or you're going to want to... Oh, well, first got to apply the transition, then select your paint bucket tool. And you, one thing is you do not want to do color overlay when make, changing the color of the background of your template. This because uh, you won't be able to do the reflection in that you're going to need to be able to do later in this video. So yeah, just select your layers and fill it in with the paint bucket. I'm going to fill it all in black. And oops, and then, then you're going to want to select your square mark or rectangle marquee tool, and you're going to want to make a new layer above your above the module layer, and then you're gonna right click and select create clipping mask. This yeah, well, not gonna explain it, but then yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And then you're going to use the rectangle marquee tool to draw a box around half of the, well, whatever you think looks good. Then you're going to get the paint bucket and fill that box in with the color white. And as you can see, the clipping mask makes it so that the white doesn't go anywhere or doesn't get applied anywhere to accept on the actual shapes. So we're going to do that to each one of these. Okay, and then we're going to want to go to blending options. And obviously that doesn't look good, so you're going to change the opacity, which is, uh, well, right on this first page. You're going to want to change that from anywhere between 25 to 30. That's what I found looks best, but uh, I guess it's your preference, so do whatever you want. And then hit OK, and it will make it a grayish looking color, which kind of makes it look like it has a reflection. So then we're going to do it with this top layer. I'm just going to speed it up. Okay, and then you will finish with this uh, where everything looks like it's a reflection. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I guess you could add some writing. Like down here, you can write uh, about me. And then you can pretty much add anything you want, obviously. If you make GFX, you know that you can add stuff. So, yeah, then you're going to probably want to change the colors and stuff, but... um. Yeah, this has been Alex with Vital Productions on 
my tutorial on how to make a professional YouTube back background and uh yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and yeah, take 2 seconds to like and uh thanks